What's up everybody? It's Danny and Gray's Cards and Toys and we are back with another video and as you can tell from the looks of what's in front of us you'll know what this video is about. It's about Hot Wheels. Uh, in this video I'm going to talk about um, some error cards that I have from Hot Wheels. Uh, I have a pretty pretty decent collection of Hot Wheel cars and uh, we, uh, you know, my son, he plays with them, but I keep them in the package. But I also look for what they call era cars. And it ranges from the car to the card itself to all different kinds of things. And I actually have seven here that I would like to showcase so you guys can see what an era Hot Wheel looks like. Um, I'll start off with a, a kind of, you know, None of these are really common because you never know how many of which is, is made. But um, these are pretty well to spot. Um, Hot Wheels has their their cars. They always face going to the right. This car was actually packaged going back to the left. Now Matchbox actually makes their cars going to the left. But Hot Wheels has theirs going to the right. So this was a pretty easy one to spot. And uh, I actually seen it and I was like, you know what, that, that's really cool. And I like it because it's an actual real car, not a fantasy car. So there's that one. Um, then I have what they call a side, you know, it was kind of packaged sideways. Now this is uh, an actual fan, uh, real car too, not a fantasy. Obviously, you know that the car was supposed to have been sitting in there sideways. Well, look at the way this one was. And it is a Jeep Wrangler. Um, there it is. But this was really cool to find, too. Um, this, you know, I, I don't see this quite too often. I have seen, you know, images and stuff online. But this is this was really neat. And then, um, this is a card era, considered. Uh, this is pretty neat. You don't see anything wrong with it, right? Well, check this out, guys. There is a double card through the uh, being being done up in the factory. It, it, it grabbed two cards, and that's pretty neat. And it sealed it together. So uh, that that's that's pretty nice and uh, neat. And it, it's I like it because it's kind of like a coffin deal called the Riga Motor. So that's a real cool find. And this is actually a um, a riveting era. The back of this Shelby uh, Mustang did not get popped into place. As you can tell right there, the rivet does not fall in line with the back base of the car. And the whole back end is just jacked up. So that was a really neat find. And then we got a treasure hunt a regular treasure hunt and this was a zombot from last year's uh, wave of treasure hunts from the e case and the the gun right here is supposed to be in this slot well the rivet broke loose through uh, the whole shebang and I was trying to find it right there is the rivet but uh, this is pretty neat so it's kind of floating around in there pretty neat era and this is a wheel era. Now these are a little bit harder to spot. You just got to be, you know, making sure you're, you're watching for them. Um, this is the way those sp wheels supposed to be. And it's supposed to be one right there. Now this one is not supposed to be on there. And actually on the other side, it's the same wheel on the other side. So they really definitely missed. I mean, you can't, you guys can't see it, but I have confirmed it. But also what makes this cool is it's a Zamac too so Zamax are a little bit um, sought you know sought after and um, so this is a really cool one a wheel front wheel era supposed to have been that one and then this one now this is really cool this car does not have any wheels on it whatsoever it's supposed to have wheels it's supposed to have a bottom base it does not have the bottom base and it has been pop riveted though. 
So it's like they, they didn't even pay attention to what they were doing. Um, but that's really cool. This is like the, 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 the best era that I have in my set. And I found this at a Dollar Tree um, a couple months back. So that's pretty cool. So that's just a little bit um, of what, what you know, the basics on eras. And I'll kind of see if I can't line these up. I don't think they're going to set up. We're going to try our best to get them to set up here. And I'll pan out and let you guys see them all together. I'm not going to be able to get them all in the, the frame. But I'll try, try my best here. So these are all the eras that I actually have in my collection right now from Finding in the Wild. Just be on the lookout. I mean, it's all kinds of different stuff that you can find. Like that one was the, with the card. Is That's a pop rivet era. That one's no wheels. That one's a wheel variation. That one has an error with the pop rivet. That one's turned around backwards. And then, of course, this one is sideways. So uh, this is just a little short video about uh, some of our Hot Wheels. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, we're trying to get to that 200 mark. We're going to do a giveaway. Cleveland Car Connections actually said he was going to throw in something else. Baseball related or football or etc. In case you guys aren't into the toys and stuff like that that we do. But uh, hope you guys like this. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.